When it's this hot, the pavement across the valley is even hotter. Arizona Burn Center is treating some of the most vulnerable members of our community. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke shows us just how dangerous our heat island can be. Another extreme heat day means all that surface is just absorbing the heat. It's 130 degrees measuring on the pavement. Check this out. This is the slide. 141 degrees. In this kind of swelter, playgrounds and parks look like ghost towns. The body of a car exposed to the sun could lead to second degree burns, and the pavement may be hotter than you think. We took an infrared thermometer to the Central Avenue light rail stop. Any guesses on how hot your seat is that you're sitting on? Oh, it's got to be about 103, 104. He wasn't far off. 112. Doesn't feel like 112, though, does it? No, but uh, it's draining. Then over at a parking lot near Central and McDowell. 127? Oh my goodness, no way! Are you serious? For some, there's no escaping the heat absorbed in our valley streets. For me, I just think about the transients and the people who have to lay on the ground and sleep. At the Arizona Burn Center, they estimate about 30% of their patients are those experiencing homelessness. Director Dr. Kevin Foster says sometimes it starts with drug use on the streets. These people are using the methamphetamine to become unconscious and they fall down and uh, oftentimes there's nobody around to help them up. They remain unconscious for a period of time. We're told another significant portion of vulnerable burn patients are people 55 and older. That's the problem. They go down and then they can't get back up again. During the summer months, the pavement can reach upwards of 180 degrees, causing second or third degree burns. According to the Arizona Burn Center, they treated 92 patients from burns on hot pavement when the temperatures soared in 2020. That number dipped to 71 in 2021, then shot back up to 85 last year. And with no heat relief in sight, the Burn Center says they've been busy again this year. We're actively uh, taking care of uh, 10 of those patients in the hospital right now. In fact, I just walked out of the operating room after operating on uh, a patient who had gone down and suffered really bad uh, pavement burns. Jordan Bondke, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Jordan. Arizona Burn Center says if you do get burned, it's best not to put ice on it as that can lead to ice burns. It's best to run uh, under some cool or room temperature water that covers that area. So 